You inhale, inviting the universal love, light coming in to help you. When in Western, in Western mind, you feel peace, and you, know, you, you just lay down, listen to the music, you know, feel how peaceful you feel. And in Qigong practice, when you set your you feel the peacefulness, it means you are aware that how peaceful your body is, how each part of your body is so peaceful, including the internal organs. So that, that, that is the second concept. And also we're going to experience that in our practice. We're going to do a lot of a practice uh, uh, after I finish this little talk. And then next one is what kind of things were involved with, uh, with this process, with this practice, so that you can activate this chi, you can activate this intelligence, generally speaking, through four ways. Number one, your breath. Number two, the posture and body movements. Number three, your mind. And number four, sound, the vibration of sound. So now let's just start with the breathing. I want you to remember this. Qigong practice, the purpose of Qigong practice to help, is to help you to activate the intelligence of your body. That is what we call it qi, to help you to heal, to live a longer life. A while ago, while I was doing, uh, in the middle of doing something, a student of mine called me. She said her daughter and, and, and she were playing in a playground outside, and her daughter was having a, 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 a panic attack. She tried the Qigong Spring Forest Qigong healing techniques on her. It's nothing really worked, and her daughter was still feel miserable. And then she called me and asked me what to do. I said, well, of course, you know, call the point, uh, ask your doctor and, uh, for help. And now you can ask your, da your daughter to take long, gentle, deep breath while you were working on her. And she did. A few minutes later, she called me back. She said, wow, this is so cool. Just in a couple minutes, my, doctor, my daughter's anxiety completely went away. And and of course, she was very happy about that. Then she laughed and said, I remember everything you taught me, but I just don't remember this one thing, breath. And my answer to her is no, because breathing is so simple. Generally speaking, the most powerful thing usually is the simplest thing in the world. But in Qigong breathing, in Spring Forest Qigong breathing technique, we take it to another higher level by using this inborn gift to help us to activate this vitality, this intelligence in the body. What you do, now here's the techniques. This technique has been kept secret in the Taoist practice, in a high level practice for a long, long time. And now here is a little demonstration to show how the energy system works in your body. It is very simple, but it is very powerful. Now what I want you to do, I want you to take a deep breath to see how much your sinuses are open, just like what I do. And now you open your left arm, palm facing up, then use your right hand, you can pat or you can cup down from the shoulder to the wrist. When you cup, you do it for five seconds. Just like that, five seconds. And then you change your hand, do the other arm from the shoulder down to the wrist. Do it for five seconds. All right, you put your hands down and take another deep breath by focusing on your sinuses and see how much more your sinuses open. Now you will notice your lungs and your sinuses are much more open. This is how it works. 
The skin belongs to the breathing system, especially the many channels from the inside part of the arm running through this part, connecting to your lungs and to your chest and to your heart. When you cup the inside part of the arm and the skin belongs to the breathing system plus the energy channels, you help to stimulate the energy flow in your system. That's why your lungs are more open, your chest are more open, you have more room for air, and that's why your sinus is open, because lungs energy shows out through the sinuses. It is very simple, but it is very powerful, and it's very effective. You might not be able to see the energy channels in your body, but you just experience how the energy system works, the energy channels works in your body. If you can inhale longer time and exhale shorter time, that means your kidney energy is strong and your lungs energy, and there's some blockages in your lungs so that you're not able to exhale for that long. If you can, if you can exhale a long time, but when you inhale, you just take a, maybe two, three seconds, then that's it. But when you exhale, you can exhale five, 10 seconds. When you inhale only for a few seconds, much shorter than the time you exhale, that means you have uh, energy blockages in your kidneys, in your reproductive organs, or in your bone, bone marrow. Isn't that amazing? So that just through breathing, the rhythm of breathing, the length of the inhale and exhale, you are able to find out what's wrong in your body, in the major organs. So now what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> Try to make it longer, right? Try to open up the channels so that you are able to exhale or inhale longer at the same time. I mean, the same amount of time. So now here, what you need to do? And uh, you need to tell the body, the intense, I want to heal my kidneys. I want to heal my body completely. So you you can take, for instance, if you have a kidney energy problems, you can uh, only inhale for, let's say, three seconds. And you exhale, you can exhale for six seconds. Now, after you tell your body you want to heal your body, this is what I want you to do. I want you to exhale first, like you exhale six seconds. And then you tell your kidneys, and I want you to take the same amount of time as the exhale to inhale to help you to heal completely.